I have been keeping a very optimistic attitude about the situation. And when I tell you guys that this is seriously the greatest opportunity that you will ever have in your lifetime to create the new world and, and new lifestyle and new things for you, I mean it. But that doesn't mean that right now is the time that everybody should be hitting home runs and that you should be more productive than you ever have been before and you should be reinventing yourself and you should be slaying workouts every day and having all this free time to grow and develop. That's just not the case. This is a very stressful situation and it is a new situation. Things we've never encountered before and we don't know what to do. Some of us are feeling isolated and lonely and we don't know what to do. We don't know how to develop. We're feeling lost. We're feeling disconnected. And the overall stress, um, if you have faced it and you've welcomed it in, it is scary and painful. And if you are blocking it out and you're trying to resist it, it is scary and painful. And if you're in complete denial, it's scary and painful. We're all carrying that stress around with us, everything we do all day right now, and that is taking a lot of energy. And it's okay if you are not as productive as you think you should be right now. In fact, it's okay if you don't do anything at all for a day or two days because you're stressed. Sometimes things happen in life that knock us down and we can't handle it as well as we think we should. Um, but for some reason, we always have this idea that no days off. We should be going hard all the time. We should be able to handle it. We should be able to do more. We should be relentless. And that's just simply not true. You have to give yourself some slack. You have to cut yourself a break. You have to say it's okay to do just a little bit and not a lot. It's okay to not be productive. It's okay to do nothing. It's okay to take a day off. It's okay to take three or four days. Take a full week and just feel bad about yourself as long as... You are not accepting that as your way of life for the future, you know? We can't just give up. We can't just sit and wait. We can't give in. It's tough, but it will pass. Uh, but it's okay. Give yourself a break. We have these unrealistic comparisons. We assume other people are doing more than us, and we hate ourselves because we're not doing enough. We get on the internet, we get on TV, and we see people being ultra-productive. They're locked at home during this quarantine and they've rebuilt their house and they restructured their family and they've redone their career and they've redone their diet and they've gotten super fit, but none of that's real. If somebody's pretending like it is, then whatever. Who cares? For most of us, we're going to encounter things that we did not expect. We thought we'd have all this extra time. Turns out we have less time. We thought we wouldn't have the stresses of work. Turns out we have way more stress. We have to accept and be willing to forgive ourselves for not doing as much. We can simultaneously lean into the stress and into, lean into the new situation and try new things and develop new skills and do things uh, that we know we're going to fail at because now's the time to do them and be forgiven uh, and, and still be okay with doing a terrible job of a lot of things. Obviously, we're in the fitness world, so using fitness and athletes as, as an example um, the top one, obviously, being you know, Michael Jordan. No days off. He was relentless. Won an NBA championship. Started practicing 4 a.m. the next day. Tim Grover wrote the book Relentless, and it's about Michael Jordan's attitude and how that dude literally never took a day off. And he is the like ultimate mental killer, the greatest of all time, the greatest champion. If you're on the court with him, he's going to dominate you. If you're a practice, he's going to dominate you. He worked harder, better, faster, did everything. You know what? Michael Jordan took like two years off because something happened in his life that was so stressful, he didn't want to go back to basketball anymore. The dude, the killer that took no days off, took like two, two years off uh, and a big chunk of his career. So if you take a week off or a month off because you're struggling with your life, it's totally fine, dude. This is just what life is. It's okay. Um, you don't have to do it alone. You can call out. You can ask for help. And if you reach out to me and be like, yeah, you know what? It's okay. You can't handle doing 90 minutes of exercise today to do a boatload of burpees and be out of breath and on the floor sweating. So what, dude? There are more important things in life than how hard you work out and how much of a champion you are in your brain at exercising. But you're not a career exerciser. You are a real person. You are a human being. And a human being who's going to mentally burn out, who's going to face stressful situations, who can't do everything because nobody can. And that's okay. You have to be real. 
Don't be a professional exerciser. Just be a professional person. And a professional person is going to handle, is going to face situations that's going to knock them on their butt. Don't let the overwhelming positive message and overwhelming optimism of people all around you make you think that you should be doing more than you are. Yes, we're going to get through this situation. We're going to be happier, healthier, fitter, more skills, everything. This will end. We will get through it. But it's also okay for you to take a break, for you to do less. It's okay. People who are telling you it's not, who are just endlessly positive, cramming sunshine right down your throat, it's okay. It's not real. We want to feel good, but we also want to keep things in perspective. And that perspective is that this is a very challenging time. And if you want to take a break, you can take a break. No big deal. And if you feel excited and you want to do more, you can do more too. Either way, just be real. Forgive yourself. Be gentle with yourself. It's okay.